out there, my name is Kate and welcome back to my channel. If you have been here since January or have seen any of my past videos from this year, you know that at the very start of January, the very start of 2018, I shaved my head. And the only thing I've done with my hair since then is I've cut back here around the back of my neck so that I don't have like a mullet going on where everything kind of grows the same. So I am back to this like pixie length hair that I had, gosh, when was this? Last July, so a year ago, I cut my hair into a pixie and dyed it blonde. So I'm basically back to that length now. So this is how much it's grown. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you three ways that I style my pixie length hair that isn't just, you know, leaving it down or just straightening it. Don't add that. So I'm going to start off with how I style my hair the night before. So I always do this after I shower and wash my hair. So I part my hair at the front of my eyebrow going up and all the way back. I take small little sections with my comb as you can see here and I bring them over to the other side so it creates a zigzag pattern. And the main reason I do this is because I have some grown out color in my hair and doing this will break up the color a little bit so it is not just a straight line around your head, it is varied. And I always flip a little bit over in the front. Once I'm finished, I will clip off my bangs on the heavier side and then kind of loosen the hair up so that it dries easier. So I start off by spraying this Tresemme heat tamer in my hair before I straighten it. And usually I wouldn't straighten my hair, but since it's at such a weird length and my hair likes to curl, it just looks so much nicer when it is straight. And yes, I know this straightening iron is so tiny. It is a half inch straightener and I got it from Ulta's website. I think it's a travel size straightener. And once my hair is cooled down, I'll use this Kenra Clear Paste 2.0 or 20 and I will just run that through my hair. Really, I just dip my fingers in a little bit to get some of the tackiness. So find a way to get a now for this first hairstyle, all I'm doing is taking three bobby pins and mine are like a copper color because they match the copper highlights in my hair and I just stick three bobby pins horizontal on the lighter side of my hair, which means the side of the part that has less hair on it. And that's basically it. For this next hairstyle, you're going to take a small section at the top of your part and twist it back and upwards, you'll see exactly what I'm doing here. Then I take a bobby pin, and this is a little trick. You spread the bobby pin out around the twist and then push it up towards the front or towards the start of the twist, and it will hold it there so much better, and you won't even be able to see the pin. And then I repeat the exact same thing right underneath of it, so there are two little twists. hairstyle is just a bunch of little micro braids that I put at random spots around my head. I always start at the part. So you're just gonna do maybe four to five twists around your head. Just however many you feel that you need or you want. And a trick to get braids to stay without hair elastics is to tease the end of it once you get down to the end of your hair, the end of the braid. And then you're going to just spray a little hairspray and then work it through the end with your fingers. And that will keep your braid in place and intact. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe to be notified whenever I upload. Check out my Society6 store. It is linked down below. And don't forget to comment on this video or my last video on what items that you would put together in an outfit for me to wear in next week's video, I'm pretty sure. So basically what you're gonna do is choose from the five shirts 
four shoes, three pants, two jackets, and one romper. And you're going to comment the letters that go with them down below. And you're going to be putting together an outfit for me to wear next week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!